Hello everyone. As you can see, today is currently Thursday, November 25th, and today is a very special day, might I add, because no, it's not Turkey Day. Actually, it is Turkey Day. What am I saying? Um, it's my birthday. A very special day for me, of course. I turned 22 today, which is very exciting, and of course, there's Turkey Day as well. Yay, we have a world-class chef to cook for us in the plaza. Hope you can all join in on the fun. Today is a special day for some of our island residents. It just so happens it's this and Wolfgang's birthday. Yeah, don't you love it when you share a birthday with your boyfriend? It's fun. It's very, very fun. Obviously, since it is my birthday, my villagers are going to be throwing a birthday party for me, and I'm very nervous to see who's going to be at the party. Real quick, I, I explain this every time, but the villager who's at your front door as soon as you start the game, that's essentially the villager that you're the most closest with on your island. I don't know if it still works like that. However, because Wolfgang shares a birthday with me, I don't think he's going to show up at the party party. Basically, the villagers at your party are like your closest friends. So I'm pretty nervous to see um, who it is. Uh, last year, it was Dobie. So hopefully it's him once again. But uh, like I said, I'm I don't know. Oh my god, it's Poppy! <laughs> oh my god, and why are we wearing the exact same? He's literally twinning with me. Oh my god. Oh my god, he tore down his Oh, never mind. Wow, they all just <laughs> <laughs> it took a second for all that to load in. Poppy is my BFF on the island. Ah! I knew Margie was going to be here because Margie and I are close, but I did not expect Agnes to be here. Oh my god! We've been waiting because we want to celebrate your birthday with you, Cookie. I genuinely did not expect this. What the hell? Where the fuck is Dobie? Excuse me? Wait, that's something I'm a little mad at. Why isn't Dobie here? Seems a bit sus, if you ask me. Anyways, um, I genuinely did not expect Poppy to even be like at the party i mean we're close obviously i love him but like damn he threw the party for me come on cookie you gotta blow out the candles don't face me face your candles whitney's not here either interesting all right <sighs> Happy birthday, Cookie. You blew them all out in one go. Now it's time for us to give you our presents. We brainstormed it together. I hope you dig it. Ooh. What's in it? A surprise. Open it later when you have time. We do have one more present for you today. I'll go get it ready. Chill right here. I'm gonna smack that pinata like its name is Rodney. Yes. Good stuff. You did it. What was inside? Wow, there were birthday cupcakes. Oh. <laughs> Why was he holding it like that? What the hell? Oh my god, this is so adorable. Look at Agnes over there in the corner serving looks. She looks so fucking good. Kick back and take it easy for however you want. Yeah, we're taking some photos. Everybody get here. Oh my god, me and my fucking bestie. <laughs> Other bestie over here. And of course, the main bestie right here. Damn. I mean, like, again, I did not expect it to be these three. I'm not complaining. I'm obviously not complaining. Yeah, I don't know. Also, Ted. Teddy not being here? That's quite interesting. You would have expected Teddy to crash my birthday party, wouldn't you? Also, Lopez. Thank God Lopez stayed away. Poppy, thank you for not inviting Lopez. That's the last person I want to deal with today. Oh, uh, this is so adorable. You having fun, Dinky? Oh, I'm definitely having fun. I hope you like your present. It was sort of my idea. Of course it was. See, Margie is definitely the brains of this trio. That is 100%. She holds the brain cells for all three of them. It is confirmed. Look at Pop <laughs> Poppy, why are you pinning her up against the wall leave her alone we're all just in the corner having a little dance i don't have the dance emo let's just work it why don't we <laughs> all right i think that's enough for now this was cute this was fun super happy happy birthday to me now we might as well just get on with the rest of the video so bye happy birthday to me it's always nice getting to celebrate with good cake and good friends and my loud ass fucking dogs who won't stop barking at the neighbors all righty all um without out of the way it's turkey day oh my mother sent me a gift do you remember when we first met of course not silly but it was on this very day that's not cause to celebrate i don't know what is happy birthday from mom shout out to mothers what is she oh god my pockets are full oh yeah uh last night i found um a star fragment island so that was quite fun as you can see though i clearly need to clean out my pockets so we shall do that of course what did they get me the table Ooh. Ooh, I like that item. Yeah, with the birthday cake and everything. That is so cute. And then what did my mother get me? Mom's homemade cake, which you can finally eat. That is quite adorable. Ooh, oh my God, is that a new item? 
Or is that something they always give you? I do not recognize this. Oh my god, with the bird? Is that supposed to be a bird? That is so cute. I love that. And it just says happy. <laughs> Did she run out of room to write birthday? Why does it just say happy? That looks so threatening. Anyways, let me clean out my pockets real quick. Also, I just realized they only gave me six cupcakes, meaning one villager is not going to get a cupcake this year. Hmm. How interesting. How interesting indeed. Well, before we go on with today, oh, thank God my crops have harvested. That's good to see. I'm going to quickly do my little routine type things. Just, just the bare essentials, you know, like digging up my fossils and all that stuff just because um i need some bells and also we gotta get into the bulk of this video which is obviously celebrating turkey day which yay i guess i don't know how i feel about turkey day as a whole like as the event in new horizons i don't remember it last year and i think that's the main reason why i don't have any feelings as of now i don't remember if i had fun i feel like the only two events that i really enjoyed were festival and halloween so who knows maybe turkey day this year will be fun hopefully it is um um, mini island update, I guess. I started to do some things. As you can see, I'm adding a lot of trees to the island. It looks very, very fun fun um and yeah over here as well as you can see i kind of did something with my campsite i finally decorated the area and it's very very foresty you can see i used a lot of gyroids around the area as well i really want to try to use a bunch of gyroids in the decor around this area i don't know just to make it feel more whimsical Did i bury a fruit behind one of these trees stunt the growth i might bury a fruit behind this one but that, that's gonna fuck up the path i don't know why i'm doing it right now but we are i need a fruit though what is the closest piece of fruit that i I can find there should be a fruit tree right over here yes there's an orange tree grab the one orange that it spawns for me and just plant that right behind the tree um this is a well-known trick but in case you don't know if you plant a fruit next to a tree that's still growing like right next to it it will stunt its growth so it's this tree right here I'm gonna plant a fruit right behind it, right directly behind it. It'll prevent it from growing. Um, example, this little tree over here. As you can see, I have planted a fruit right behind it, as well as that one over there. It's just very cute and a very fun way to add some variation. It's a trick that I learned last year, and like I said, I'm pretty sure a lot of people know about it, but in case you don't, um, welcome to the club. It's very fun. Ooh, Wolfgang, of course, is home. We will be visiting him later. Uh, don't tell him, but I actually have not bought him a gift yet. I gotta do that real quick, huh? Listen, it's only fair. He didn't show up to my birthday party. I'm gonna buy his birthday gift the day of his birthday. It's how our relationship works. Hi, sir. Is he doing anything special for your birthday in this game? I don't know. Let's see. No, it doesn't look like he does anything special. Just for today, I brewed up something special for you. Drink up before it cools down. And I didn't get an option to say no okay it looks like he does something special it's my coffee day that's like a cake day but with coffee i should get some cake too you have cake in your fucking pockets happy birthday oh he does wish you a happy birthday why couldn't i get the coffee for free i've got something for you think of it as my way of saying thanks a coffee plant <gasps> oh my god this has nothing to do with your birthday but the fact that i got this item on my birthday <laughs> i believe you need to buy i think it's 20 drinks in order for him to give you that item it's so adorable look at it it's the same plant that he has in his coffee shop that is so adorable happy birthday to me brewster is my fucking boy you know on your birthday kk slider performs a special concert for you but um since franklin's scaly ass decided to show up today obviously for you know <laughs> valid reasons sometimes i just need to sh like i go in on people for no reasons i'm so sorry is kk slider still gonna be here <laughs> like that's what i'm wondering because he's supposed to put on a special concert for the resident rep but um my birthday happens to be on the same day as a holiday so quite curious and quite curious indeed is he still gonna show up i think he'll come in tomorrow because he, he wasn't here yesterday or maybe he'll be here on saturday i don't know I'm actually quite curious now. We got to do some last minute shopping for my boyfriend because it's his birthday today and I completely forgot. Oh my goodness. We are heading straight to Able Sisters. Let's see if I can pick him up something cute. Oh my God. It's a Cheerios costume. Do you think he would like that? I think that would look adorable on him, but I am not going to buy him that. These sunglasses would work though. Some pilot shades. Those would look pretty adorable. Maybe I'll consider those. No, I kind of want to give him those sunglasses. I think those sunglasses would look nice on him. Anyways, where's the birthday boy? The-
Excuse me? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey there, Maximum. You're here to celebrate my birthday? Well, make yourself come. Who the fuck invited this dude? You wouldn't believe the great gift Lopez just gave me? Having him here to party with me is more than enough. Well, yeah, I got you something, of course. Some pilot shades. This is a quality product. You've got good taste. See? Okay, at least I can impress Wolfgang. Who the fuck invited you? Um, do you have anything you want to say to me, Wolfgang? Getting old is not all fun in parties, believe it or not. It's got downsides. Hello? You know, today's not just a special day for you, might I add. Hope you're having plenty of fun. Hello? Do you have anything you want to say to me on this very special day? I said something to you. Can you say something to me? Why are you here? Hey, I get it. You want to talk to me, but it's Wolfgang's birthday. It's my fucking birthday, too. The only thing I don't like about birthdays is getting old. So why don't we get rid of that part? Yeah, why don't you go fuck? Why are you here? I was expecting Teddy to be here. You invited Lopez of all fucking people to your birthday party. You brought my ex-boyfriend to your birthday party on my birthday to your birthday party with a birthday hat on my birthday to your birthday party. No, I'm leaving. Goodbye. I shut up. I'm leaving. I am leaving. Wolfgang, don't fucking talk to me for the rest of the day. How could you do this to me? I am running away screaming right now. I cannot do this. You know what? It is turkey day it is a holiday i can go scream about that later let's just head to the main star of the show who is right over here alongside my best friends every single one of them hi doby well hey there vis celebrating a birthday today right see fucking doby remembers it's my fucking birthday why couldn't wolfgang do that shit have a cupcake doby thank you so much this one tasty looking cupcake and you're gonna let me have it thanks a million vis i think today proves of all day that doby is my fucking ride or die i can't do this right now doby thank you so much for being a good friend i am so angry right now at wolfgang and lopez of course Look, even Teddy remembers it's my fucking birthday. See, you know what? Normally I hate when people gloat like, oh, look, I remembered it's your birthday. No, Teddy, you are allowed to gloat because you're not even the most important person in my life and you remember that it was my birthday. Eat a fucking cupcake. Eat a cupcake right now, Teddy. You deserve it. It is your fucking cheat day. I can't believe this happened on Thanksgiving of all, why are these two together? What is happening right over here? Hello? Happy birthday, Vis. Thank you, Melba. Have a cupcake. You deserve a cupcake. So nice of you to share your birthday cupcake with me. Hope this is the start of a great year in your life, Canopy. Listen, Turkey Day is a day for drama. We've been new, but I did not expect this shit to happen. Poppy, Poppy, please talk to me. I was hungry and I came out here for the feast, but I guess it's not ready yet, baby. Come on. Where is my girl Whitney? That is another ride or die who I just need to talk to right now. Whitney and I always come to each other when we have problems. I just, Whitney, where are you at, girly? Can I just talk to you real quick before I talk to Franklin. I need to vent about your good friend Wolfgang. Your good friend Wolfgang. It's your birthday today, isn't it? Well, happy birthday. I hope you appreciated that move. I don't do it often. This is for you, girly. Also, she looks so adorable in this chef uniform. <laughs> Come through, Whitney. Even when she's cooking, she still serves looks. Thank you so much, Whitney. We got two cupcakes left. Um, Cephalobot, a villager who's still on this island. Y'all remember how excited I was for Cephalobot to be on this island? Honestly, though, he's kind of just been here. He really has been giving filler queen energy. I am so sorry. You can never say bonjourno too many times. That's Latin for happy birthday. You are so smart, Cephalobot. Wolfgang could never have a fucking cupcake. Whoa, I won't say no to that. Baby, this looks delicious. Right back at ya. I got something for you too. Everybody on this island is showering me with birthday wishes, love, and gifts. But my fucking boyfriend of all people couldn't do that for me. Who did I miss? I talked to, yeah, I talked to everybody. There's one cupcake left. You know who's getting this cupcake instead? Me. I deserve the last cupcake. Fuck Wolfgang. Fuck Lopez. Fuck both of those idiots. They don't deserve my love on today of all fucking days. Just so y'all know, Wolfgang and I will be having a serious discussion later tonight about this, about his fucking behavior. Franklin, talk to me, baby. Are you one of the locals here? I'm Franklin, professional chef extraordinaire. Nook Inc. hired me to come and cook for everyone. Turkey Day is about celebrating the harvest by preparing a feast with all those ingredients. And no one knows feasting like turkeys, which is why they're called in a professional. Gobble gob! <laughs> I 
say that. But right now, it's what those... <laughs> Those of us in my line of work would call a conceptual feast. Make no mistake, I brought with me everything I need to whip up a positively gobblicious clam chowder. But today is about nature's bounty, not my personal excellence. I want to use local ingredients where possible. Three manila clams. Manila is my favorite flavor of clam. Would be all I need to adapt my award-winning clam chowder recipe. But I typically have people to do my clam digging. Where am I going to find? a digger on such short notice i was about to complain that you know it's turkey day and like franklin was gonna get me to do all this cooking work and all that shit but you know what after the bullshit that wolfgang put me through i need to just get my mind off of it real quick so you know what even though it's my birthday and i want to just sit down and relax and have a nice meal i need to take my mind off the bullshit that i just went through so yes i will be helping franklin out today i am getting him those three manila clams where is the third one Come on out, Manila Clam. I can't do this right now. I can't do this. Turkey Day wasn't really my favorite event last year, but that's mainly just because, like, I don't remember it. You know, I was hoping today was going to change my mind, but... Ooh, a tree's bounty lamp. I was hoping to this year was going to change my mind about the event, but we just went through some bullshit. Oh, and here's some more bullshit to go through. Of course my shovel breaks. Of course my shovel has to fucking break on today of all days. Here, take your fucking clams. Everyone must be salivating to get a taste of my cooking. I'd love to start on some clam chowder and i would if only i had a digger to fetch me three fresh manila clams i'd do it myself but these are chef's hands without an assistant digger i despair of getting my ingredients you can have these what did you bring me my ingredients? Fresh manila clams from this very island. These are some beauties. I'll make the finest clam chowder you've ever had with these magnificent mollusks. I've got everything I need, so let's get cooking. <laughs> Ooh, look at all them shaking their fucking asses for clam chowder. Go off, y'all. Thanks to me, and also you, to some extent. To some extent, bitch. Excuse me, I literally fucking went through hell to get you those manila clams. We've got delicious clam chowder ready to serve. I'd like to show my appreciation for your help. I present to you a turkey day rug. For an amateur, you've got a real eye for ingredients. Bitch, I did this for you last year too. What do you mean an amateur? How dare you forget who I am. Next on my menu, I plan to cook up a pumpkin pie. I was going to hire a gopher to fetch me ingredients, but he didn't show. So how would you like to be my gopher? Yeah, why not? I really appreciate this. Even a brilliant chef is nothing without an eager assistant. Let's make this a red letter turkey day. Let's talk turkey about what we'll need to bake that pumpkin pie. I'll need an orange pumpkin plus a yellow pumpkin. Once it's all stirred in, it'll make the best pumpkin pie this island has ever seen. There's no shame in asking around for help. It's how I recruited you after all. Oh my god, that was... <laughs> I don't know why I started doing voices for all these characters, but every single time I do it, I just get crazier and crazier with it. So yeah, that hurt my throat. Hi, Margie. It's turkey day at last. I've been looking forward to the, for, if only I knew how to read. I've been looking forward to this chance to strut my stuff in the kitchen. I intend to go all out. I'm glad you're here. I was getting anxious because I couldn't find a dab for this dish. If you happen to get your hands on some, I'll trade you for another ingredient. Does that sound good? Yeah. Yeah, this is basically turkey day for anyone who hasn't played it yet it's actually a pretty cute event overall it's the same in new leaf i know i just said like it was a boring event but like <laughs> i remember it now i did have a lot of fun last year i just couldn't remember it that's why i was like i don't remember how it was you know in my mind if i don't remember it it, it obviously was boring but no it's actually a pretty cute event i will say like i like that villagers getting involved and there's like so much more to do once again talked about it before i'll obviously talk about it again but in previous games specifically in city folk that was the first game i played the thanksgiving event as a whole was like completely different to what it is here some people hated it some people loved it i personally loved it despite it being quite controversial but basically franklin is a turkey it's thanksgiving or should i say turkey day when tortimer was mayor he hired franklin to come to your town for lunch and franklin of course is a chef so he showed up being pretty excited to cook a meal for everybody but soon when he learned that they had already prepared food and the one thing they were missing was the main dish you know 
know, he kind of figured out, oh, when Tortimer invited me for lunch, turns out he invited me for lunch. Basically, you would kind of find him hiding around the island or the town, I guess, because it was city folk, as well as the GameCube game, hiding around the town behind trees, behind buildings. And when you would go to talk to him, he would basically be like, oh my God, help me. They're trying to eat me and my fishing rod. Of course, my fishing rod breaks. You know, it was basically your job to kind of sabotage the meal so that Franklin would have enough time to like run away from the town. You'd have to like steal the forks and knives. And I don't remember what else there was to it. I think it was just stealing stuff from the table. And yeah, like I said, I mean, it was a fun concept. Yeah, you know, it was a pretty boring event overall because it's just doing the same thing over and over again, which I mean, essentially this game is the same thing, going around looking for ingredients and then cooking up a meal with Franklin. But again, like I said, you know, in this game and New Leaf as well, because New Leaf was the first one that introduced this one, even though I did prefer the concept of the previous one, like I, I will say I prefer the gameplay involved with this event because again, it's like the villagers are involved as well. It actually feels like the entire island and like your entire town as a whole is involved with making Turkey Day. Granted, you're the only one cooking the meals. Everybody else is at home cooking too. And like, especially in this game, because I feel like New Leaf did it well, but I will say like the villagers actually showing up to the plaza and like staring at the meals and being all excited for it. I will say that is a nice feature. That is definitely a nice feature. Turkey Day as a whole, <laughs> like the event in Animal Crossing, I think like it was something that was just at bottom tier because I just couldn't remember it. But now that I remembered it, I do remember last year on Windle having a lot of fun doing the event. I think the only reason why I couldn't remember it was because it was too quick. Also, it was a year ago. Why the fuck do I keep getting all the flounders? Girl, I need a dab. What is the size of a dab again? I actually can't remember. God, it's gonna take me a while just to find it. That is not a dab. I know the dabs are smaller. Oh goodness me. Why did Margie need a dab? Why couldn't she ask for like an orange or something? Also, remind me to pick up all the star fragments. I know I'm gonna forget. Don't be mad at me if I do. <laughs> this is typical Animal Crossing bullshit. When you actually need the fish, they don't spawn. It's so rude. Like the game's engine is out to get you. Oh yeah, also I picked up a bottle earlier and it's from Cashmere, giving me gold bars, something I already know, of course. Please let this be a dab. I am so sick and tired. Oh God, please, please let it be a dab. No, it's gonna take me so long just to look for the dab, isn't it? Please let it be this. Can it just be that anyways? No, why did I press it? Mm -hmm. Let me take a real quick break. Let's open up all the presents I got. I got a suspender outfit from, I think that was from Melba. Um, thanks, Melba. I got a birthday sign. Ooh, I don't know who gave me that, but thank you. We got the birthday hat. Yes, that's what I was hoping for because I want to wear that for the thumbnail. And a birthday cake. Ooh, something we can eat in this game, finally. And I'm assuming these are the birthday shades. Yes, they are. I should have put those on at first, huh? I don't know why I waited till now to put them on. No! Why do I keep fucking pressing? <laughs> this is the first one and it's taking me gosh knows how long. God damn, this is gonna take forever, huh? Are you- <clears throat> Now Margie's gonna ruin my birthday too because this girl can't fish up before she starts cooking. It is literally a rookie mistake. You're supposed to go grocery shopping before you start cooking. How could you just forget to get a dab? We live on a fucking island surrounded by aquatic sea life. How could you just forget? But you know what? Even though if she forgot a dab, you know what she did? remember my fucking birthday unlike wolfgang real talk though it is quite annoying how in this game if a villager shares a birthday with you they just pretend like yours doesn't exist so annoying i don't think that's a dab that's an olive flounder oh it's a tire <laughs> i can't even catch a dab or a break oh my god of course i catch a ray this is why i hated turkey day no of course i was i was fooled i was like no turkey day is a fun event no it's not this is the reason why turkey day is a fucking bullshit event because they make you catch the easiest fish in the game. They just don't spawn when you actually need them. Like watch, a villager is gonna ask me to catch them a sea bass, but then when I go to look for one, they're just not gonna spawn. When the one time you finally need a sea bass, they just don't show up in your game. I don't understand. I don't understand. Why do I have so many olive flounders? Today, I finally live up to my name of Angry Coconut. Like I'm called Angry Coconut for a reason. <laughs> what does Cephalobot want? Cephalobot, please, you've been a filler queen this entire time today of all days not just for turkey day but for me my birthday can you please come through right now and ask for something easier turkey day is all about sharing great food with friends and family and maybe a little bit of showing off in the kitchen haha -ha. you have the exact thing i need see but 
Thank God. This is faith, baby. Will you consider trading it for one of my ingredients? Please, please just give me yellow pumpkins. Please just give me a fucking yellow pumpkin and I will literally make out with you right here on the spot. Cephalobot, if you- <laughs> I said yellow. Margie's gonna be the one with the yellow pumpkin, isn't she? She's gonna be the one with the fucking yellow pumpkin. No, of course she is. She's gonna be the one with the fucking yellow pumpkin. I'm gonna go over to Whitney's house. She's gonna ask for something. It's gonna be something that's already in my pocket. And she's gonna give me a fucking green pumpkin instead, isn't she? That's exactly what's gonna happen. That is exactly what's gonna happen right now. I've decided to try cooking today for the first time in simply ages. Oh, don't give me that look. I've been known to cook without always burning down the island I live on. Please burn down the island with the bullshit that Wolfgang, Lopez, and Margie is putting me through. Ah, oh, she needs a fucking carp, of course. I don't even have any pawns on my island. <laughs> I don't think I can do the <laughs> Melba, please just give me a yellow pumpkin. Can someone just give me a yellow pumpkin? Can somebody please just give me a yellow pumpkin? Of course, it's the only colored pumpkin I don't have on my island. Melba, please, please. <laughs> yeah, she wants a sea bass. Okay, thank God. Melba, do it for me, girly. Do it for me. <laughs> love you. Oh, I love you. I'm gonna make out with you right here on the spot. Thank you so much, Melba. Thank you so much. I fucking love you. I gotta run home real quick just to check if I have something in my inventory. Which, by the way, for everybody who's like, oh, why don't you just get a storage shed? Why don't you just get a storage shed? I can't. I can't get the storage shed yet because uh, my house isn't fully upgraded. In case you don't know, your house has to be fully upgraded and you need to upgrade your storage shed at least once, I believe, in order to unlock the storage storage shed in your Nook Miles Plus. So I don't have it in my Nook Miles Plus yet because I haven't fully upgraded my house. Please tell me I have a green pumpkin. No, I just have a measly little orange pumpkin. Oh, damn it. That means I sold it. Of course, the day after I pick my crops happens to be turkey day. Oh, well, we're just going to have a normal pumpkin pie this time around. It's what this island fucking deserves. Teddy, you himbo. After the bullshit we went through today, if you're not having things with Melba, maybe we should get back together. Our next dish will be a pumpkin pie absolutely stuffed with pumpkin. The main ingredients are simple. Orange pumpkin and a yellow pumpkin. I'll get started prepping over here. Once you get your hands on the ingredients, bring them back to me. It took me all fucking day to get these shits for you. Half these fucking pumpkins. Reliable assistance and high quality ingredients make a master chef's work that much smoother. I've got everything I need, so let's get cooking. Ooh, look at that pumpkin pie. And everybody's shaking their ass for some pumpkin pie. For our next dish, we'll use a lots of ingredients to make us hefty seafood gratin. For this, we'll need to procure a round mushroom as well as a mussel. Come back once you've found what we need. Am I gonna have to go deep sea diving for a fucking mussel? Why can't I just give the one in my arm? I don't really use it. I have a round mushroom though, thank God. I have a bunch of round mushrooms. Shout out to everybody who told me not to sell them because if I, if I didn't listen, to y'all I would have had no mushrooms right now I'm probably still just gonna go pick one off the ground that I used for decor because I'm too lazy to go back home Agnes is at town hall Wolfgang and Lopez are currently burning in hell Dobie's at town hall Teddy's at town hall Poppy's at town hall dang it everybody who's home are people we've already talked to what did Cephalobot want again I need some oyster Cephalobot I'll give you a pass this time because you're a robot and you clearly can't go into the ocean even though you're an octopus what's the deal with that is he waterproof whoever designed him, I really hope they made him waterproof or else that would be really really ironic <gasps> oh my fucking god it's been an hour <laughs> almost no it hasn't it's been nowhere near an hour I finally fucking got a dab I am running straight to fucking Margie right now and I'm shoving that dab up her fucking ass. Hey, bestie. Finally got what you fucking asked for. Only 40 minutes later. I'll give something from my pantry in return. Margie, Margie, look at me. Margie, look at me. You better give me a fucking oyster. Or a muscle. Yes. Oh, thank God. Okay, Margie, you've officially redeemed yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not getting myself a fucking crab. Shut the fuck up. I just want this shit to be over now. Yeah, I fucking hate turkey day if it's not obvious. Take your fucking recipe. The main ingredients are simple. Blah, 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 I got everything I need, so let's just get right to fucking cooking, you little shit. Blah, 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 blah,
Master Full, my gratin is filled with the freshest of fresh food. You're proving yourself to be quite the catch. Blah, 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 yeah. Thank you so much, Franklin, for the flooring. Yes, it's time to tackle the final dish. Fish manure. I understand it's turkey day. You wouldn't believe the way they choose to celebrate it in some places. But the less said there, the better. Sea bass and flour. I have, I do have sea bass. I know... I have C yeah I do okay how much do I need for flour I need five pieces of wheat for flour like I said I harvested my crops er, yesterday god damn that was a rookie mistake that was a rookie fucking mistake on my behalf but as we saw earlier I did have some crops that were just there okay we have two pieces of wheat right here I just need three more three more pieces of fucking wheat oh my god and there's three more oh thank god <laughs> I don't have to fucking go through this bullshit of having to harvest shit for my villagers. I'm fucking done. I just want this shit to be over. I don't know why I'm so done with this shit. I think it's just Wolfgang. Wolfgang had to break my heart the way he did with that bullshit move. It's all Lopez's fault. Wolfgang and Lopez didn't pull that fucking fuckery. Minutes before I went to help Franklin, I probably would be in a much better mood right now, but of course, it's all Lopez's fault. It's Lopez's fault. That's exactly exactly what it is. It is Lopez's fault. I am officially done. Where is Franklin? Once again, last up is a dazzling presentation of fresh fish. The one, the only manure. It's about damn time. Here you flippin' floppin' floopity floop go. Reliable assistance and high quality ingredients make a master chef's wet. You're saying the exact same thing. Yeah, cephaloba. Shake that cephalo. Bussy. Gobble gob, we've got through the entire four course meal I planned for today. I owe much of that to you. In all honesty, I'm deeply thankful for your help today. In honor of that, as well as nature's bounty around us, I hope you'll accept this cornucopia. And I have another present just for you. You can learn how to make everything I prepared today. Ooh, ooh, that's actually pretty cute. The job is done, so you now have my blessing to go and enjoy this turkey day to the fullest. Gobble gobble. With some help from you, I've made four wonderful courses for our festival today. But as a professional chef, I should always be striving to break the mold. I wonder what would happen if we went off rest. Yeah, I'm not doing all that. <laughs> okay, so we got the olive flounder manure. Is it manure or manure? Mionier? Is it mionier? Mionier? 12 years of French classes, you think I'd fucking no. Oh, this is a different gratin. Pumpkin pie. Fun fact, I love pumpkin pie, so that's quite cute. And clam chowder. It's safe to say that that is a good stopping point for this video. Like I said, obviously I don't want to do like the whole nitty gritty on this detail, just in case, you know, y'all would want to do that on your own time. I feel like it's quite fun. That was this mess of a video. Once again, it is my birthday and I had to go through so much bullshit today. I've made it to the end. And so have you. We are now at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, happy birthday to me. Thank you to everyone who's wished me a happy birthday. Yeah, today was a fun day overall. Got a little annoying <laughs> at some points as we clearly saw. My name is Angry Coconut for a reason. It was still a fun event. Turkey Day is definitely an experience that I am thankful I only have to experience once a year. Thank you so much, Dobie, for being adorable. Dobie is a real one. Teddy is a real one. Agnes is a real one. Margie is a real one. Poppy is a real one. Melba is a real one. Whitney's a real one. Cephalobar is a one and those other two can go somewhere but with all that out of the way i got not much else to say i'm joined with doby once again hope y'all enjoyed this video however the hell it turned out and um well happy late thanksgiving because this video is clearly not coming out today <laughs> to everyone who celebrates happy thanksgiving and even if you don't I hope you had a great day and I hope you have a very fun existence overall. I don't know what the hell that was. I am just gonna go, so bye. Move.